Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to run Wave 30 Career Mobile Macro. That's right, 8k score per hour, you can run it in the background, you can run as many instances of this at the same time as you want. Doesn't matter, it's got you covered. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and download BlueStack so you don't, don't already have that. So here we go, we're just going to download that. Got a couple tabs open, don't worry about that. Uh, what the heck? This is not what I clicked on. What the f Well, anyways, we're just going to download BlueStacks. I don't know why it took me to that. So yeah, as you can see, we click on that, and then we do Show in Folder. Now you just double click it, and it will start installing. So yeah, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, I'm just going to press Install Now. Now it will start installing, my bad. Of course, it's going to ask if it can make any changes to your device. You're just going to press yes for that. <sighs> Should be pretty quick as long as you have decent Wi-Fi. But uh, this part might take a moment, so... <sighs> Alright, now that we got blue stacks, first thing we're going to want to do is open this up. Okay, yep. Yep, I understand how to use blue stacks. Please stop talking to me. And then we're gonna wanna open the multi instance. So first of all we go to settings. Make sure your display is set to seven twenty P, two forty DPI. That's gonna be important for later. So yeah, we're good on that part. And oh that's weird. I thought that uh Huh. Okay, it already has my apps installed, but uh, you're just going to want to open up the Google Play Store and go ahead and download Discord. I already have it downloaded, so I can just open that. Uh, once you click on the Google Play Store, it's going to ask you. Uh, it's going to ask you to uh, go ahead and log in, so make sure to do that. If you don't have a Google uh, Play account, it's free to make one, so you know it just takes a, a couple minutes to set that up. So yeah, just go ahead and join my Discord server, I'll have a link in the description below. And you can go ahead and go to my macro channel, this is my backup channel that I'm looking at right now. But yeah, you can go to the hashtag macro, hashtag free macros, all you gotta do is get the roll, and hashtag get rolls. So yeah, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and download this, right here. And now we're done with that, we don't need to use Discord anymore. So we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here. And you're going to want to download Roblox. But before we do that, we're going to download this auto clicker. So if you type it in, it should be the first thing that comes up. But if you can't find it, I also have a link to it in the thing right here. So you should be able to just click on that. Just press yes. And yeah, auto clicker is going to come up. I already have it downloaded, but you're just going to want to download it. And then you're, what you're going to want to do is go down to multi target mode. Click on Manage Configurations, and as you see, I already have a macro in here, but we're not worried about that. You just come over here, click on the three little dots. It's going to bring this up, and there you go. You got the macro. Now you're going to want to press play. This will take a moment. It, it's a big macro, so it takes some time to load. Don't worry. It, it, it goes black. Uh, if you try to do this on certain phones, it might crash, so fair warning. <laughs> The app does crash on some phones, like on my phone it does crash, but on BlueStack seems to run fine. Even though I'm pretty sure my phone is better than this PC, but whatever, I don't know what's up with that. So yeah, we don't need this anymore, you can close that if you want, or you can just leave it in the background. So yeah, go ahead and download Roblox from the Google Play Store. And make sure that you let it load while it's like long ways, not vertical, because if this is loading while it's vertical, it's going to mess it up. So just, just let it load before you do anything. So now we can go into Final Sand 2, I got it right here. And before we actually turn the macro on, there's a couple of settings you're going to want to change. So we're just going to go hop into career mode, make sure we have everything. Okay, thank you about ketchup, that's overpowered. What? That 
Come on, bruh. Just let me in a private server. I swear to God, I'm gonna murder back at you. What is your damn problem, huh? Jesus. So, yes. Now we're in the game. We're gonna want to equip our perks. As you can see, uh, great perks right here. Obviously, it's loading. I have a lot of stuff open right now, so it takes a while to load. But hopefully your PC isn't this slow. Uh, yeah, we got level 3 fireworks, you know, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna brush this stuff in a little bit. Uh, on my other account, I already have a max out, obviously. So, uh, yeah. We, that's all we need. We got tower defense, firework, danger close, deadly gear, overclock, technician, gear infusion, and lucky charm. Um, the macro can run without, um... This perk right here, Technician, but it will die pretty early on wave 30, so you're going to lose on, on some XP if you do that. But, you know, if you're trying to prestige, obviously, you can just get to level 5 quickly and then go AFK and don't really need Technician. If, you, if you're just that lazy, it doesn't matter. But hopefully, you know, next update, it will be a little bit better because there will be 12 perk slots, so... Yeah, you want your inventory to look like this. We got the sentry guns, zombie base, C4, booster kit, heavy sentry and mortar, and that order. So yeah, you just get all the upgrades and everything. The only things you don't want to have maxed out are the... Uh, is the mortar, actually. So yeah, here we got crit HS, as you can see. And here we got... Velocity. We didn't buy that one because... With maximum overclock for siege, is honestly just insane. It goes way too far. We don't need that upgrade. So yeah, if you buy that, it will break. But everything else is good. You want to just max out everything else. All right. So now that you have everything in your inventory in the right order, you want to go over to your settings. Make sure you're on 70 FOV. If your FOV is too high or too low, it will break the macro. So. You know, you might get away with putting it on a 69 if you if you like the memes, but it wasn't designed to run on other FOV, so keep that in mind. Everything else doesn't really matter. I mean, you can turn off uh, you you can turn on hide tool display. It, it will save on resources a little bit if you're worried about lag issues. And you can turn off particles, but other than that, it doesn't really matter too much about the settings. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So yeah, if we come over here, we gotta make sure you're on classic mode. If you're having issues uh, clicking on stuff, I know it can be kind of annoying with blue stacks. What I found is that, oh, it's gotta load now because I didn't own it. But uh, what I found is if you're having issues with that, wow, it takes a long time to load, jeez. Come on. Nope, it crashed. Okay, well, <laughs> fair enough, I guess. <laughs> Uh, let's just go ahead and we're gonna open that back up because I want to show this to you Just in case you're having this problem because I know sometimes I have this problem and it's really annoying So we're just gonna turn this back on Whoops, sorry. Okay, we're getting an ad now. We're not watching that ad <laughs> We're just gonna press enable and new configuration. So if you do that, it won't load anything up, so you don't have to worry about it crashing. So if you come back into Roblox here... By the way, if you take too long to do stuff, it will kick you out. Sometimes it freezes Roblox, so... Keep that in mind. You want to be quick if you're trying to do something like that. So yeah, we're going to come over here and click on this orange button. Just kidding. Press the red button to undo that. Green button. If we click on the green button, uh, it will let us click on stuff like the graphics mode. Don't know why I can't just do that. But there you go. That will fix it. Right now it's running continuously, so... You can change it, but it's kind of annoying. I wouldn't really recommend messing with it if you, if you can help it. Because it makes your mouse go invisible. So dumb. As you can see, it's set here to 10 cycles by default and run indefinitely. Uh, my Mac I already have uh, run definitely turned on, so... You don't have to worry about that. It's already saved in the settings. Well, yeah, so there you go. Now, now you should be able to easily change your graphics. You're just going to want to turn that as far down as possible so that way you can run multiple accounts. You know, you don't want it to use a player GPU and stuff. Make sure your camera sensitivity is set 
to the right setting. In this case, I have it set to 6.7999, apparently. Okay, that's a weird number, but that's what it's set to. Uh, let me just pull that out. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't actually say right here, but yeah, that's what I have it set to. Go away, zombies. You're annoying. Yeah, shift lock is off. Make sure your camera's set to classic. You can't really click it. You gotta do this stupid thing, so. Just put this thing over here. It'll click it. Yeah, so. Just put it on classic. That's what you want it to be on. And then, when you're ready, you can just close this out. Click on that, go back over here. And we're gonna just press play. And that's gonna go ahead and open up the macro for you. And now I would recommend doing nothing and just, just kind of let everything load if, when you do that. Obviously, if you already have your settings turned on, you don't need to change them. But I'm guessing that you probably don't play Roblox mobile on, on BlueStacks normally. Uh, is it gonna load? I guess not. Okay, we're gonna try that again. Okay. There we go. <sighs> yeah, it's a little bit jank, but you can't argue with the results, to be honest, because it's just really nice to be able to, you know, just turn on your macro, minimize it, and it's just going to work. So, yeah, after that, you can just go back to the main menu once it's all nice and loaded up. And yeah, everything is very slow. Sorry, guys. Uh, my laptop's kind of broken right now. So yeah, once you press play, just let it get into the private server. Yep, it's on the loading screen now. So we can just go ahead and press the Windows key and minimize this. Now it's just gonna do its thing. You can drag it to your other monitor if you want. Just be careful if you're moving your mouse around too fast because depending on what the macro is doing, and you slide into the other monitor by mistake and go into the focus of the window, uh, it can start being annoying. So I just like to minimize it, it's easier. But if you're trying to live stream it on Discord, just so you can check it out on your phone and stuff, then you're not gonna be able to minimize it, so keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about the macro. It's just gonna run now, it's gonna do its thing, it's gonna get 8k score per hour. You can open up another one. So if you want to do that, all you got to do is come over here and uh, go to settings. Let's see, where is it at? Uh, home. Where's the thing? Is it this thing? Oh, that's not right. And my mouse is invisible. Okay, well. Hang on, guys. I'll figure this out. Am I just like being stupid right now? What the hell? Uh, what the fuck? Why is it not? Ah, there we go. Sorry guys, I would be fucking stupid. Okay. This is all you gotta do right here. You just click on <laughs> multi-instance, duh. I don't remember if you have to install this separately or... There's tutorials on how to do it. If you can't figure out how to how to get to this screen, it, you look it up. But, uh... 
yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and stop this instance. Uh, once you already have the back row loaded up and everything, you can just go ahead and clone it. So if you click right here, you can clone an instance. I was running this one, right? I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it right now because it kind of takes a while. But yeah, then you can do that. You can just log out of your account, log in to your other Roblox account, and you can run them all at the same time. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about making a back row, or not making a back row, but running a mobile back row on your PC. Making us a whole other video. <laughs> yeah, peace out, guys.